In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how match coverage works against Gun Bunch in Madden 23 and how you can use it to really put Bunch in a difficult position to be successful um, and kind of force them to have to play a certain type of way. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to learn more about match coverage and how it works in Madden, make sure that you get our Patreon membership. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and it will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our match coverage defensive ebook that we released um, the first week that the game was out, and that we're continuing to fine tune as we kind of learn little subtle tweaks to this um, over the course of the season. Now, of course, in the Patreon membership, like I said, it gets you access to all the ebooks, but also gets you access to all the updates as long as you are a member for just 10 bucks you can sign up again the link is in the description if you want to check it out but the reason i wanted to bring that up is because the patreon will show you um, not only how match coverage works against bunch but how match coverage works against everything and really the foundational teaching of everything that we're going to talk about in this video so um what i wanted to show you today was just a basic overview of how uh this this defense works against bunch specifically as bunch has been one of the most popular formations year in and year out so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your coaching adjustments has your zone coverage set to match if you're on next gen if you're not on next gen and you're on current gen you don't have to do that because it should already be on match okay um, and we're just going to come out in nickel over and i'm going to show you why cover four quarters is really really good against gun bunch so basically what is going to happen in match coverage whether it's cover four quarters cover six cover uh four palms those all kind of work the same um in terms of how it's going to defend to the bunch side again match coverage is a split safety defense what that basically means is it's going to work one way to one side and it's going to work another way to the other side depending on how many receivers that you have on that side so in this example we have compression and we have trips to the right side of the field and on the back side of this formation we have uh solo basically we have a solo receiver so quarters is going to do on one side they're going to defend the compression side of this formation which is the bunch side with the box check that is the kind of default way that quarters or match is going to handle compression sets it's by playing box and then on the back side again it's a split safety coverage so the backside receiver is in what's known as a solo check so even if palmer was motioned out and this was not bunch this is a basic way that match coverage reacts to trips formations is they're going to put the backside receiver in what's known as a solo check which bottom line basic very simple how does this work it basically means that the backside receivers the running back and the and the uh receiver are in man we're going to play man coverage on them so Dean is going to be in man coverage on uh, 81, and then um, White is going to be in man coverage on Eckler. And I'll show you this uh, by just simply resetting my play. I'll reflip it, of course. And then what you'll see here is I'm going to put the running back on a streak, and I'm going to put Williams on a hitch. And what you'll notice is they basically literally play man-to-man, -man, as you can see. They play man-to-man -man coverage on those receivers. So that's the basic premise. So literally, you might as well just do this with your play art. Again, you just, just try and this is just for visual kind of assistance to show you what's going on here. This is basically what you have. So if you look at my play art, we're going to play box to the right, and we're going to play meg coverage or man everywhere they go to the left side. That's the core way that the box check works in bunch okay now the the next thing that i want to uh, teach you with this is you have to understand what the box check is and um the box check essentially is we're going to play four over three on the bunch side so we're going to have four defenders over their three receivers and then those defenders are going to work together to form a box so you're going to have this guy he's going to be the bottom inside corner this guy is going to be the bottom outside corner of the box. And then this guy is going to be the top inside corner. And then this guy is going to be the top outside corner. Okay. So what this basically means is if we look, if we zoom out here, this, um, this corner is responsible for the up and out. All right. Whoever, whatever receiver runs the corner route, he's primarily responsible for him. 
whatever receiver runs up and in, whether it be a streak or whether it be a deep post or crosser, that's what this guy is going to defend. So a route combination like, uh, for example, let me show you. So a route combination like a 518 hook, you'll see that that inside quarter will go with that post. You see that right there? See how he takes up and in, okay? So that's kind of the basic premise, and it's a, it's a phenomenal coverage for Bunch. Now, what about the quarter flat defender and the three rec? Well, the quarter flat defender is going to take the first to the flat. So an example would be a tight end flat route. And then the three rec defender is really going to look, be looking for anything coming underneath and back across the formation, um, such as a snag route or a shallow cross. So, for example, if I was in this, you'll see maybe I run a route combination, you know, that looks like, like this, right? The three rec hook defender is going to take that tight end across the field. The outside quarter on the right side of the screen is going to take the corner out, and the inside quarter um, is going to be responsible for the streak because it's breaking either in or directly straight up. So what you see here is that's basically what we get, and you see that the corner route on the right is pretty bagged um, from that. And that's what match coverage does so well is that it a lot it molds its coverage so that you're always at an advantage with where your defenders are going to hang uh, with that, okay? Now, one of the best adjustments in Bunch, and I, I want to give you just a simple adjustment that's going to really help you a lot. So if you run Bunch, what you can easily do to bomb match coverage is just different route combinations. But really, base, it's, it's basically this. If we can kind of get all three receivers to go vertical. So, you know, something like a smart routed in, and then maybe a streak and then a smart routed out. This could be an example of something. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but a lot of times the streak will be over the top. It actually matched okay there, but there's other route combinations like verticals or you know just different things like that, that that can be very effective, right? So what we wanna do with our match coverage is we wanna try to kind of protect it from these guys getting confused within a bunch set okay i'm not talking about a trip set i'm talking about a bunch set okay very important distinction so what you're going to see here is we'll do something like this uh maybe put the running back we'll probably block him maybe put this backside guy on a c route or something you know like this okay this is a really good bomb but a way we can stop it is we can just put this right side guy or this bunch side dude in a deep half and this will hang with most of the bomb plays that people are going to want to do and we'll still be able to match our guys appropriately right so maybe something like this um you know from corner strike and you know we do something like again that deep half trick so we're just putting the the safety on the bunch side in a deep half and that's going to keep him kind of in his core responsibility which is the top inside quarter of the box to the trips receiver side obviously you know he's going to need to break on the ball and make a play on something like a seam streak but you see the idea now, the benefit of that is it can stop a lot of really good concepts. However, one of the things that better players will do is they will motion out of the bunch. So they will do this, um, especially if you're in a defense that looks like this. This is now a problem because there's nobody to match the corner route. You see there the corner route was wide open. He was getting you know, disproportionately matched from the backside of the of the formation. So the pro tip for this coverage and what we try to talk about in our ebook is give you the ins and outs of how to mold and adapt your match coverage based off of motion, based off a of situation to make it more effective. When they motion out um, from the trips to try to throw a corner route, chances are, when they motion out like that, all we want to do is re inside quarter of that guy and now what you should see is it might not be perfect but it will be much 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 better so now you see him drive on that corner right as you saw right there so when they motion out of bunch you don't have to have a deep half because why well your defense is no longer in a box check the, the complete the whole coverage has changed on that side of the field because the formation itself has changed on that side of the field so that's something that i think is really really important to teach out of bunch and also the last thing that i want to talk about just 
just real briefly with this is who should you user? Well, there's a lot of freedom in terms of match coverage this year with who to user. One of the things you can do is kind of bring this safety down and user this guy pretty successfully against bunch formations. So now my primary responsibility here is I'm looking as this inside quarter on the left. My main job is to look for a deep crossing route coming from the bunch side. So you see, I'm going to go with the crosser and then everything else is basically bagged from there. So knowing your responsibility and then maximizing on it. Now you can, um, if you want to, another coverage uh, that is basically match coverage, right? You could get a double team on the solo receiver if they block the running back would be to call something like a cover six, which kind of looks like this right here. We would then use this guy. And if they block the running back and I've broken this coverage down a little bit. Now we have a lot of freedom because we don't have to really care about the running back. We're still getting all of the coverage checks on the left side that we wanted to have. So there's ways that you can adapt these coverages. But overall, match coverage to me is one of the best ways to play Madden. Uh, and the main reason why is because it adapts to the routes on the field as well as the formation on the field so if you can understand match coverage which we teach you in our match coverage defensive ebook i think you're going to be a lot better of a defensive player thank you guys so much for watching this breakdown if you want to get my full match coverage defensive ebook make sure that you join our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up and i would really encourage you to take advantage of that offer again link is down in the description hopefully we will see you guys over at the patreon page